the fates, or Moray, are a group of three weaving goddesses who assign individual destinies to mortals at birth. Their names are Clotho, the Spinner, Lachesis, the Allotter, and Atropos, the Inflexible. They are the offspring of Zeus and Themis. The three Moray represent the circle of life, essentially standing for birth, life, and death. They would spin, draw out, and cut the thread of life. They had enormous power, and even Zeus was unable to recall their decisions. The Moray were, in a way, something more than a way to represent destiny. They took control of it. In fact, they were in charge of controlling people's lives in a number of ways, from their birth until they died. Clotho was also known by the name of Spinner, because it was her duty to spin the thread of a person's life from her distaff directly to her spindle. She also made major decisions. This allowed her to choose who was born, but also when gods or mortals were to be saved or put to death. Lachesis, always dressed in white, was in charge of its measurement. According to every person's length of thread, their lifespans were different. This would represent destiny, and she was in charge of deciding how much of time was to be allotted to each person. It's also believed that she was in charge of choosing the fate of each person once the thread has been measured. Atropos was the oldest of the three, and she was known as the Inevitable. She was closely related to people's death since it was Atropos who would choose the mechanism of death. It was her task to end the life of mortals by cutting their thread. The representation of the fates evolved through time, and it seems that it often depended on the medium through which they were portrayed. In literature, they are often imagined as both old and ugly. In any case, they are always pictured as weaving or binding thread. Sometimes one or all of them can be seen reading or writing the books of fate. Most of the time the fates keep to themselves and do their mid duties, but there are times when they take part in stories outside of their tasks. They took part in the war between the giants and gods, killing two giants, Bronze and Agrius. They also offered the god killer Typhon an apple that would enhance his strength. Of course it was a lie and that gave Zeus time to defeat the monster. The Moray have an extremely important role and for the most part remain neutral. The Moray are so strong even Zeus feared them. And unlike other deities, the Moray answer to no one. Neither god nor mortal can sway the sisters from their duties. Even Zeus, the ruler of the gods, is intimidated by their power. Like everyone else, he does his best to please the weavers and stay on their good side. According to legend, on the third day following a baby's arrival, the fates will appear at the new boy's bedside to weave their destiny. The fates come whether we receive them or not, so it's best to make the sisters feel welcome. Leave your door unlocked, light a candle, bake them some sweets, and offer freshly brewed tea with honey. And if you truly want to appeal to goddesses of destiny, you can write a letter to the sisters expressing our sincerest gratitude for their efforts.